Okay, for this example, we're going to do uh, SDR Angel, and we're going to do a narrow band FM channel, and we're going to just try to tune in the uh, NOAA frequency that's nearby. You're going to need two applications for this again, SDR Angel, RTL SDR, both available in the Play Store. First thing I'm going to do is plug in my RTL SDR. On here, I've just got a regular old antenna, uh, VHF for this because we'll be receiving a VHF frequency. So we're going to open up SDR Angel. It's going to want to access the SDR. We're going to hit OK. And here, because we're actually having to build this out as a, as a configuration, we're going to go up and we're going to go right next to that purple icon up there, that play button, and we're going to hit the icon right next to it. It looks like an antenna with some waves going towards it, that's a receive signal. So that's what your receiver is going to be. So down here, you're going to be able to do a drop down from the list. And we're looking for RTL SDR and then a sequence of numbers, which is the serial number of your SDR. Mine's 51. Most people default to zero. I changed mine to 51. So we're going to select that and then hit OK. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up the RTL SDR spectrum section and then it's going to have a device over here on the left. So these are like tabs for Windows. So, And this tab is where the SDR is at. And what we're going to need to do here is go to where that triangle with the three dots at each point are and select the available channel. So what we're going to do is hit this drop down and we're going to look for narrow NFM demodulator. And what that does is it's going to configure a preset that's going to do narrowband FM demodulation. So that's pretty much what you're going to do when you want to listen to like local repeaters, um, anything that is analog conventional. Um, this does not decode uh, P25 or um, DMR. So hit apply and close. So on here we've got the narrowband FM demodulator. There's a couple different features on here that you can use. CTCSS, which will allow you to add the tones for repeaters. You'll hit the drop down. And if you knew what your repeater tone was, you'll select it in there. Because we don't need any tones to receive NOAA, we're going to leave that blank by default. So we're going to go back to the device and we're going to change the frequency. The frequency for mine is 162.4 and hit done. And what that's going to do for us is it's going to let me do uh, <coughs> tune the frequency in. And now I'm going to hit play, and we should be receiving the signal. So we're going to go to the spectrum to see what we're seeing. And you can see that we've got that, that spike there, that line, and then all this other uh, data on here. What we're going to do here to get rid of that spike, because that, that's going to give you a false sense of there's a signal, we're going to go back to the device, hit that DC icon right there on the left hand side then go back to spectrum and you'll see that that spike's gone it's a little bit everything's a little bit lower now what i like to do on this one to get a better view is i like to go down to the bottom and see the three lines down at the bottom to the right hit that and it's going to allow me to change what i'm going to see on this screen um, i like the 3d view because i think it looks cooler so i'm going to hit 3d over here on the left and that's going to show a 3d representation now it's really low so you're not really seeing that much. Now I'm going to also hit this other um, this other uh, feature right here, which is just going to give it change it kind of the view of it and give it a little more color, um, just so I can see things a little bit easier. Uh, now because this is so low, we're not really hearing any audio. So what I'm going to do over here is go back to the device and I'm going to turn up the gain on here. And all that does is just turn up the ability of the receiver to receive uh, whatever it's supposed to be receiving. Highly technical, I know. So I'm going to take the gain up to about halfway. This is NOAA All Hazards Radio Station KIH-61 serving the following counties in Nebraska and Iowa. Douglas, Sarpy, Washington, Cass, Odo, Burt, Dodge, Saunders, Harrison, Pottawatomie, and Mills. Wind advisory information for the... So right there, what I did was I just showed what it looks like on the spectrum, and then I went all, all the way to the FM to modulator, and I turned off the audio so you can actually hear me speaking. Um, but we'll go back to the spectrum, and now you can see all that audio coming across on that spectrum. Now this will tell you, you know, whether things are coming in or not and how loud it is. So 
Each one of those bumps represents conversation. When they stop talking, that, that bump goes away, but the transmission is still there because they're still keyed up. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save this as a preset if you ever want to listen to this again in a real super simple way. Rather than doing all this configuration, what we're going to do is we're going to stop receiving, and that just kind of freezes the screen. We're going to go back to the three lines on the top. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go to preference, preferences and hit configurations. And in that pop-up, we're going to go to the left-hand side where you see the circle with the plus sign in it. We're going to hit that. And we're going to change the description of this to, let's change it to NFM Noah. We'll hit OK. Now you'll see it saved right there. So I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to close out the RTL SDR. And that's going to close all those windows. And now I'm going to close the application down and exit. So super simple. Now I'll go back to the, the application again. I'm going to go back under here and I go to preferences and configurations. And you'll see we've got NFM NOAA. I'll select that. Go down here to the right hand side and select that icon just above the close button. And that will load the preset. And I'm going to hit close. I'm going to go back to RTL SDR and I'm going to hit play. If I can hit the button. And because it was still muted, you can't hear anything. So I'll go back to the demodulator and unmute it. Sunny. Highs in the mid 50s. And that's how you save it as a preset.